check it out guys we are back with today's second third i don't even know how many videos we've done today so just make sure you are subscribing to the channel because we are pumping out content like crazy now if you take a look at the top left hand side we've got 9878 dark elixir and i'm gonna tell you guys if we can get all of that money we will be doing a triple that is right a triple hero upgrade here in this episode so pray for me guys fingers crossed we're gonna be able to do it drop a like on the video to wish me good luck if we can get ourselves all this dark elixir i think we're gonna have enough to do a triple hero upgrade including the rune of dark elixir i've got inside of my magic item so fingers crossed this is gonna go well i don't know where all the dark elixir is uh, my queen's already in trouble, so let's try and keep the queen alive. We are going to need to pop the queen ability, which is cool. My queen is going to take out the defending queen. She's going to go down, guys. And I've got myself another rage spell ready for my queen to try and keep her alive as she takes down these defenses. So we're already up to 3,000 of that dark elixir. I think we're going to have to attack this side of the base, guys, if we're going to get the majority of it. So we got the earthquake spells in. I've got a freeze spell ready for the scatter shot. I'm probably going to need to freeze it, but I'm not sure. Okay, maybe not, guys. We're looking good. And we are going to get a minion to actually take out those buildings down the bottom. The queen is probably going to die, so let's pull the healers over to our beautiful king. And we're going to now try my absolute best, guys. To grab that Dark Elixir storage. If we can break in and get the Dark Elixir storage, we will be victorious. Let's drop ourselves our first free spell. We've got a lot of the troops coming into the center, guys. Here we go. Everything is about to converge into the core of the base. I'm going to drop a free spell down. I've still got the Grand Warden's ability, which we're going to use in 3, 2, 1. There he goes. And the Dark Elixir storage is going to get eaten up, guys. Wow. We just took like another 5,000 Dark Elixir. And finally, we've got four balloons. Check this out. If I drop all four of these balloons over this Dark Elixir drill, we should be able to get most of it. There it goes. Or at least a third of it. So that's pretty good, guys. Taking us to a total of 8,705 Dark Elixir plus 1,049 from the bonus. So let's check it out. Did we get enough to do the triple hero upgrade? This is about to be insane. Take a look at this. 172,648 Dark Elixir. We've got ourselves a Rune of Dark Elixir sitting inside of my storages, guys. So let's quickly train up another army. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to upgrade the Royal Champion first because she is the most expensive. Then we're going to drop the Rune of Dark Elixir and we're going to go for a Queen and a King upgrade at the same time. We do need to free up one of the builders, guys. So we're probably going to need to gem the Tesla Tower to the next level. Let's hope we've got enough to do this upgrade. Here we go. Okay, all we need is all we need is a tiny bit more, guys. So we just need to do one more attack before we can actually do this. I've already got my troops and heroes ready. One final Dark Elixir loot raid. Let's look for something a bit easier. Oh, wow. 6,800 Dark Elixir, guys. This is ridiculous. The Dark Elixir right now, the gold, the elixir, everything in this game is just popping. Let's try and take this out. I'm going to go for a double wizard. Try and grab those drills, guys. I think we've already almost got it. Wow. Okay. Where's that final drill? There it is. And the storage is in the core. So let's open up the core with the earthquake spells. Let's get our queen walk down the bottom. I'm going to use a giant and a bomb. Sorry, not a bomb, a balloon to actually take out the, uh, the archer tower, guys. There it goes. Then we're going to use a minion and another balloon to actually take out the cannon. And I want to funnel this side as well. So let's go with a double balloon straight into a trap. That kind of sucks. Hopefully we can grab the Tesla tower. Not quite. Let's take out the bomb tower and the Tesla tower, guys. Almost got it. We're probably going to need another giant. Let's check back up on the queen. She is going to use her ability, so we're going to rage up that queen. I'm going to get the siege barracks in instead. And we are now going to charge into the core. So all we need is like... I don't know the exact amount of Dark Elixir, guys, but we really don't need that much. I think this is going to be enough. 
Let's get that Royal Champion in. Let's put up the King's ability. Let's go with a free spell. Let's drop down a poison spell. Let's go with another free spell over there, guys. Here we go. All our troops are coming into the center. I'm going to activate the Royal Champion Shield and the Grand Warden's ability, guys, as we take down that Dark Elixir. And it's over. In seconds, we've done it. Let's just grab that tiny bit over in that drill as well. I don't even care about getting another star, guys. I think I'm actually going to end the raid. Wow, let's end it there. We just stole 5,000 Dark Elixir. 5,700 in seconds. That was amazing. And now we've got all the loot we need to do the upgrades, guys. So are you ready for this? Check this out. Let's just cook ourselves some Siege Barracks. We're going to need to start by actually gemming this Tesla Tower, guys. So that's going to be 74 gems. Upgrade to level 5. Still need to upgrade the other ones. So that's going to be a bit of a mission. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to do something crazy. I'm going to gem both of them. So we've just spent 74 gems. Can we get 74 likes on the episode? Are you ready for this? I'm going to upgrade not one, not two, not three... But all four heroes at the same time. I'm actually going to grab screenshots of all these upgrade prices, guys. Because I don't think I've actually done this in my entire Clash of Clans career. This is going to be like the most insane thing ever. So the Royal Champion is by far the most expensive, guys. As she is 176,000 Dark Elixir. Now, when's that last builder come back? 15 hours. That's actually not too long, guys. So are you ready? Let's start with a Royal Champion. 176,000 Dark Elixir. And there it is. Four days, eight hours. Now we're going to go ahead and drop that Rune of Dark Elixir. That's going to take me straight back to 300,000, guys. 145,600 Dark Elixir for a Queen upgrade. And that is going to add damage per second 429 plus 11. So let's upgrade the Queen. Then we're going to come over to our beautiful King. Hold on, how long does the Queen take? Oh, 5 days, 13 hours, guys. Slightly longer than the Royal Champion. Take a guess. How long does the King take? Let's find out. Um, where is the King? It doesn't actually say. There it is, guys. 4 days, 8 hours. Okay, same as the Royal Champion. And then finally, we've got our Grand Warden. Now, before I actually do the Warden, I've got a lot of gold, guys. Do I get rid of all the loot before we upgrade the Warden? I think that makes sense, so... I am going to... I'm actually going to do a Dark Elixir upgrade in the lab, I think. Can we afford any? We could afford minions or Valkyries, guys. What about Elixir? Is there any really cheap Elixir upgrades? No, not really. Okay, let's go for... Let's go for Golems, guys. I mean, we may as well. 56,000 Dark Elixir. Let's get the Golems going to the next level. That's going to be a 5-day, 3-hour upgrade. We don't need the Dark Elixir for anything, so... We may as well do that. And then finally, we have got the gold. I think I'm going to drop all the gold on the walls. I'm also going to drop some elixir on the walls. Hopefully we've still got enough elixir. Yes, we do, guys. Let's just quickly check how many walls we've done. 113. So let's drop some gold on this, some gold bombs. And let's upgrade some more of these walls, guys. We're going to try and get all the way to the end of this line. Um, maybe by tomorrow. Right now, obviously, we can only do a couple. Actually, we can do quite a few. Another two at least. I think in total we just upgraded like seven walls. So I suppose that's not actually that bad, guys. Because we've only been farming for about two hours. So I'm pretty stoked with that. And then finally, it is the last upgrade, guys. 7,840,000 elixir to get ourselves a level... What is it? 19 Grand Warden. One level away from having a level 4 ability. That is amazing. And take a look at that. Guys, all four heroes going to the max level. Sorry, the next level, not the max level. Let's actually change this. I'm going to remove those heroes and I'm going to bring them down here because I want to see what they look like. I think they're all sleeping. It is quite funny, guys. I've honestly never seen this before. I think I saw... Clash bashing done this the other day. I was talking about doing this a week ago, but I just couldn't afford to do it, guys. But now, for the first time ever, we have got quad heroes going to the next level. That is just so ridiculous. And the uh, the Clockwork Warden hero skin really stands out compared to the rest, guys. 
He looks amazing. So you've got the queen and the king who are lying down on the floor. And then you've got the clockwork warden and the real champion who are kneeling. And that, my friends, is what I call an insane episode. Honestly, that is ridiculous. And we're maxing out a scatter shot as well, guys. That's going to be coming back in the next 16 hours. So basically, the next couple of days, we need to find a strategy which works where you can farm up without using heroes. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to find one. Maybe we'll use botch or something crazy like that just to steal collectors, guys. But yeah. This is pretty much the end of the episode. Nothing else we can do. I suppose we could make a strategy using Electro Dragons and Yetis because those are my only two max level troops on this account. So could still manage to get some decent bases, but it's going to take a long time to train up the armies. For now, my friends, we're going to end this episode here. Stay tuned for the next one.